Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Astro Academies on this day. June 2025 arrives with shorter nights in the Northern Hemisphere, but with some very interesting opportunities, planetary conjunctions, the arrival of the summer solstice, and a modest meteor shower. In this video, I'll tell you everything in detail, including tips for capturing these phenomena with your camera. Let's get started. As always, we'll begin with the lunar phases. On June 3rd, we have the first quarter moon. The moon starts to reveal spectacular details. This phase is ideal for photographing the lunar surface in detail thanks to the pronounced shadows along the lunar terminator. On June 11th, it's the full moon, known as the strawberry moon. This full moon gets its name from the Algonquin tribes because it coincides with the strawberry harvest. Although its brightness makes it difficult to see faint objects, it's perfect for wide nighttime scenes and sunrises with the moon near the horizon. June 18th, last quarter moon. Visible at dawn with good conditions for observing details of the eastern lunar hemisphere. Also ideal for capturing the moon combined with the sunrise. And June 25th, new moon. An excellent time for deep sky observation. Galaxies like M51 or M101 in Ursa Major are visible at midnight. If you're in a dark location, it's a magnificent opportunity to capture the Milky Way in all its splendor. Now let's move on to planetary events. June 1st, conjunction of the Moon and Mars. Visible at dawn towards the east. A good opportunity for photography with a telephoto lens or even at prime focus with a telescope. June 8th, conjunction between Jupiter and Mercury. High difficulty for observation due to their proximity to the Sun and because both bodies will be practically on the horizon. Both planets will be very low after sunset. You can try with binoculars or a telephoto lens, provided you have a completely clear western horizon. June 19th, conjunction of the Moon and Saturn. This will occur at dawn with the Moon in its waning phase, accompanying the ringed planet in Pisces. Perfect for telescopes and detailed photography of both bodies. June 22nd, conjunction of the Moon and Venus. Just before dawn, the bright Venus and the waning Moon will be relatively close together in the sky. It will be a beautiful scene if you compose it with landscape elements. June 26th, conjunction of the Moon and Mercury. A conjunction visible very low in the western sky just after sunset. It is recommended to try to catch it from a high and clear location. It is a delicate and complex scene, but very aesthetic for astronomical landscape photography. Now let's move on to the month's notable astronomical events. First of all, the summer solstice on June 21st, specifically at 2242 Universal Time. At this moment, the beginning of summer in the Northern Hemisphere and winter in the Southern Hemisphere is marked. The sun reaches its maximum northern declination, which means that the day will be the longest of the year. Although the nights are obviously shorter, it is an astronomically significant date. It is also a good opportunity to capture sunsets from iconic locations aligned with the horizon. Buted Meteor Shower Its peak will be between June 27th and 30th. This is a minor and unpredictable meteor shower. Its radiant is located in the constellation Bootus. Although it usually produces only a few meteors, between 5 and 10 per hour, it has occasionally shown bursts of activity. The most interesting thing is that the waning moon will not interfere with its observation in the second half of the night. And as always, here are some photography tips so you can capture all these events yourself. The waxing or waning moon is the best time to capture images of the areas near the lunar terminator, where we have the greatest contrast and therefore a richer array of structures and details. These phases are especially spectacular to photograph through telescopes with high focal lengths. On June 22nd, you'll be able to capture the strawberry full moon. Remember to adjust your exposure so you don't overexpose the image, ensuring the moon is properly exposed with all its details. This lunar phase is perfect for including in urban or natural landscapes and also for positioning near the horizon to incorporate silhouettes or landscape details close to it. When it comes to conjunctions, plan your composition. Use apps like Stellarium or Photopills to know exactly where the conjunction will occur, so you can compose your landscape photos to include it. An 85mm or a 135mm lens usually works very well for this type of shot. For the booted meteor shower, shoot exposures between 20 and 30 seconds with a high ISO and a wide-angle lens. Include elements of the landscape to compose spectacular night photographs. Also, increase your chances of capturing something by using an intervalometer and taking one photo after another for at least an hour. Mm -hmm. 
As you can see, June offers us a sky with fewer dark hours, but full of beauty. Planetary conjunctions at dawn, a strawberry full moon on the horizon, and even a meteor shower that's hard to predict but could bring a surprise. If you want to learn how to photograph each of these phenomena or process your images like a true astrophotographer, visit our online academy, Astro Academy, where you'll find step-by-step -step courses for all levels. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss next month's astronomical events or any of the content we publish on Astro Academy. See you under the stars.